Blockchain is by far one of the most powerful pieces of technology on the face of the planet. You can create your own cryptocurrencies and digital assets, create decentralized financial products, and so much more. But in this video, I wanna talk about how you can use the blockchain itself to get insight into cryptocurrency markets so that you can predict price movements, call tops, bottoms, and ultimately make you more money. I wanna talk about how you can drive these insights you know, as a blockchain developer who works with this technology on a daily basis and also as a cryptocurrency investor myself. So before we get into that, you know, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn how to become a blockchain master step by step from start to finish, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. So how can you use blockchain technology to gain insight into cryptocurrency markets? Well, a lot of times people are trading cryptocurrencies. They're trying to get an understanding of where you know the market is likely headed. They use a variety of tools, and one of them is technical analysis, right? Where they look at you know price charts like this. They might use a candlestick chart to track price changes, look at you know volume and all that kind of stuff. Come up with chart patterns to try to get an idea of where the price is headed. Now, really, technical analysis is looking at price changes, but I want to talk about a different method that can give you an additional insight into what's happening in the cryptocurrency space, even off of exchanges. That will give you a bunch of extra data to help you determine what's going on in the markets. Because that's one of the amazing things about cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology that's unlike any other asset class, is all the activity on the public blockchain itself is open and available for anybody to consume, analyze, and generate their own insights. So you can take the entire public ledger, inspect every single account that's connected to it, see all their cryptocurrency activity, you know, how much cryptocurrency they hold that they're never selling, how much are they sending to exchanges, how much is going off of exchanges. I mean, it's crazy. And this can give you really powerful insights, like is the market in the state of euphoria? And could this indicate a top? Are large cryptocurrency holders accumulating during dips? And is that a bullish indicator for future prices? And then also things like our current assets, you know, undervalued or overvalued based on lots of different metrics which we'll talk about here in a minute. So this is called chain analysis, you know, taking all this blockchain data and warehousing it and generating these insights. And this is a crazy powerful tool that's only available in the cryptocurrency space, not really other traditional financial markets because of how cryptocurrencies and blockchain fundamentally work. And lots of traders are using them alongside of technical analysis. Some people even like it better than technical analysis. Try to predict where cryptocurrency prices are headed. Some people are using it really successfully to predict short-term price changes and also, you know, what price targets are going to get hit. But others, like myself, use it just as a big picture tool to try to determine where we are with the overall market. You know, are we in a state of euphoria? Are we close to a top? Or are we in a safe place to buy more cryptocurrency? So I'll tell you more about how I use it at the end of the video, but let's go ahead and look at some tools that you can use to do your own chain analysis and what some key metrics you can look at to help you get insights into the market. So one of the most popular tools for doing chain analysis is Glassnode. They support major blockchains like Bitcoin and Ethereum, and they let you track a variety of metrics that can help you generate these market insights. So let's take a few of them, explain what they are and how you can use them. So the first I want to talk about is, uh, you know, Nupal. So net unrealized profit and loss. So this Nupal analysis is for Bitcoin. And basically what it does is it looks at the entire Bitcoin supply and tries to determine how much of that supply is totally in profit or at a loss and by how much. Okay, so how does this work? Well, basically, we have access to all the, uh, you know, Bitcoin balances. We can look at the blockchain itself. You know, Bitcoin uses UTXOs. It's I, I want to get into the weeds and how all this is calculated. You can look at the... Uh, you know, academy.glassnode.com to see how exactly how it works. But the big picture is when the entire Bitcoin circulating supply is in like big profit, that typically indicates times of euphoria. Okay, you see these blue points on the chart? Well, what typically happens at these points? You see major corrections. All right, so you can see the price here and what's happening, you know, with the Nupal chart. So that's one of the main use cases that I like to use this for. And that's one way that, you know, chain analysis can help you figure out, like, are we at a top or are we potentially at a ma you know, major bottom? So another metric you can look at on Glassnode are the number of whales. Okay, so this is actually a pretty important metric. So they measure it as people who hold, I think, more than one thousand bitcoin in an individual address okay because whales are really important in crypto basically when the number of whales is increasing you know that people are typically accumulating cryptocurrencies with the anticipation of the price going up over time and then you know if the number of whales is decreasing then that likely means that they're cashing out and the top of the market could be close so you can also get further in insight like what these whales might be doing are they buying dips like if they're all buying up dips then maybe that's a sign of confidence that that you know the corrections are temporary and that they're not like a market top you can track like whether whales are sending coins to exchanges because you can actually 
actually track, you know, exchange addresses and whether, you know, balances with over a thousand Bitcoin are moving those exchanges or not. And it's another cool metric you can track directly on Glassnode is the Bitcoin stock to flow model versus the price of Bitcoin. So stock to flow is a Bitcoin price model that's gotten really popular over the last few years. It basically looks at the Bitcoin issuance schedule to determine the flow of Bitcoin and then compares that to the stock or the total supply of Bitcoin. And it uses this to generate a model to you know try to track the price of Bitcoin over time. So this is made famous by Plan B. And you, know, you can see the past historical Bitcoin price laid over this uh, trend line generated by this stock to flow model. And you can see sometimes it's you know overvalued here uh, based on the model. Sometimes it's undervalued here. And so you can use this model directly inside of Glassnode as another data point to try to see what's going on, you know, big picture with the market. And those are some indicators that you can use on Glassnode to try to get insights of what's going on with the market, right? A lot of those are for Bitcoin that I just showed you. And Glassnode, of course, offers a lot more than I have time to talk about every single one in the video. Those are just ones that I like to personally look at. Uh, but you can also, you know, look at Ethereum on Glassnode. But I want to show you a tool that I personally like to use for Ethereum analysis, and that's Dune Analytics. It's got a lot of great free features where you can get, you know, similar insights into the Ethereum ecosystem, but you can also look at more than just, you know, how much cryptocurrency certain wallets have, what are they doing with it? But you can actually look at DeFi analytics, what's happening to DeFi protocols, which tokens are being traded on decentralized exchanges. I mean, you can track all the exchange activity because they're powered by smart contracts on the blockchain themselves. And another really cool thing about Dune Analytics is if you're an advanced user, you're a developer, you can actually write SQL queries to generate your own custom insights. You can save dashboards. You can look at other people's recipes. So let's dive in and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. There's lots of stuff you can do with doing analytics. And honestly, I've just personally scratched the surface of everything you can do. So I'm not going to get into like every possible thing. But let's talk about uh, decentralized exchanges first. Because I think this is a huge edge that Ethereum has as a smart contract platform. And like kind of getting insight into the markets over something like Bitcoin. Because, you know, you can examine Bitcoin wallets. You can, you know, watch when money flows out of their wallet to an exchange because you know the exchange address. Uh, but in this case, you can actually see what the exchange activity is. What tokens are they trading? What's the exchange volume? All that kind of stuff. Because that's another crazy thing is it once once Bitcoin flows to an exchange, you have to just trust that the exchange volume is actually accurate. But with Ethereum, it's all a public ledger and you can trustlessly verify that the activity that's going on at the exchange is legit. Like I said, you can look at other people's pre-made dashboards. You can create your own dashboards. You know, you can issue your own SQL queries. You know, I, I highly recommend just playing around with it. So let's look at a couple of other things that they can do. You can look at like the number of DeFi users over time. You know, this is the best estimate of the unique users. Now it's hard to tell for sure because people have multiple addresses. But this also just gives you verifiable data that the industry and the whole space is actually like taking off like we think it is. And that could be incredibly bullish for the price, you know, long term. People do the same thing with projects. They'll try to get, you know, an idea of whether a project is undervalued or overvalued based upon its usage. OK, because a lot of times the price of a token is somewhat correlated with the usage of the protocol itself. So traders will use that as an indicator. So you can look at any of these projects, look at their volume, like you can look at, uh, you know, Bouncer, you can look at Aave, any of these DeFi protocols. It's you know, They all have smart contracts. We can scrape this data and, you know, see uh, any of the metrics associated with them like this. All right. So daily deposits, withdrawals or barn bridge. You get the idea. So there's lots of different things you can do with these insights. You know, I'm just scratching the surface in this video. If you have any favorites, then be sure to leave a comment down in the comment section below. So another way to use on-chain analysis really simply is to look at a website like coinmarketcap.com to look at a few indicators because it's gotten so popular that it's been integrated into some of these really popular websites. So you can look at any coin. I'm just going to take Uniswap, for example, look at analysis. Okay. And so they give you some on-chain analytics at a glance, like holders making money at current price. You can hover over it and see how they define that. Uh, concentration by large holders. Okay. 91%. Holders uh, composition by time held transactions greater than 100k. So this is, you know, an indicator of maybe like a whale is buying a dip or something like that. And then also transactions by demographics, where basically are people buying the coins during uh, Eastern trading hours or Western trading hours. All right, so that's an overview of like the crazy broad spectrum of on-chain analysis and what you can do with it. Again, there's so much, it's, it's such a deep rabbit hole that you can go down so how do I personally use this? Because again, I'm not like a short-term trader. I'm not trying to predict exact cryptocurrency prices by any specific date. I use it for big picture stuff. 
So basically determining, are we at a low point in a market cycle? Are we probably in a high point? Do we see a lot of euphoria happening? And try to answer questions for myself like, hey, should I be buying more cryptocurrency right now? Or should I probably start thinking about taking some money off the table? That's how I use it for my own personal investments. But I also use it to track DeFi activity, like what projects are taking off, what are gaining traction, what do I need to pay attention to? And also just other blockchains, other protocols, you know, who is faking their transaction volume and what's legit. So that's all I've got for today. You know, I hope you like this video. As always, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. That really helps these videos out so more people can learn about blockchain. And if you like this video, you're as fascinated with this technology as I am and you want to get your hands dirty today, uh, then how can you get started? Well, you can go to my YouTube homepage and you can find any of my free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those, you want to take the next step or hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely. I can try to become a blockchain master step-by-step -step from start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero programming experience become real-world blockchain developers in a matter of months. All right, so that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.